Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of prime and composite numbers and we will do it in 5 minutes or less. When we're talking about prime and composite numbers, we're simply talking about two different ways in which we can sort whole numbers greater than 1. So a prime number is a number that simply has two factors and those two factors are 1 and itself. So for example, the number 2 is prime because the only way to make 2 is 2 times 1. Now when you have a composite number, a composite number has three or more factors. And so an example of a composite number would be 4. Because if I wanted to make 4, I could obviously multiply 1 times 4, but I can also multiply 2 times 2. So the number 4 has three factors, 1, 4, and 2. Even though you have 2 times 2, you only list it once. So another prime number would be 11. Because the only way to multiply two numbers to get to 11 is 1 times 11. So it has two factors, 1 and itself. Another example of a composite number would be 21. If I wanted to make 21, I can multiply 1 times 21. I can multiply 3 times 7. So 21 has four factors, 1, 21, and then 3 and 7. Let's look at it a different way. We can also use a 100 chart to identify which numbers are prime and which numbers are composite. So starting at 2, 2 is a prime number because the only way to get 2 is 2 times 1. What we could do is we can cross out every other even number because 2 divides into every other even number. So 2 divides into 4, 6, 8, 10, and all the way down. So 2 is an even number, and it's the only even number that's prime, but every other even number is going to be composite because it could be divided by 2. And a composite number, remember, is any number that has more than two factors. And so once we get rid of all of our even numbers, it only leaves our odd numbers. But just because a number is odd doesn't mean that it's going to be prime. 3 is a prime number because the only way to get 3 is 1 times 3. But what we could do is we can start eliminating all the multiples of 3. 3, 6 is already taken care of, but we have 9, 12, 15, 18. You notice it skips back and forth between even and odd. 27, 33, 36, 39, 45, and so on. Now that we've finished getting rid of all of the multiples of 2 and 3, let's look at our next prime number, 5. 5 is prime because the only way to get 5 is 1 times 5. But that means every multiple of 5 can be divided by 5. All of our 10s are already taken care of because they're even, but we can go ahead and get rid of all of our 5s. Now we're going to look at 7. 7 is our next prime number, and then we're going to get rid of all the multiples of 7. 14, 21 are already taken care of, 28, 35 is taken care of, 42, but we have 49 that we need to get rid of, 56 is taken care of, 63, 70, we can get rid of 77, 84, get rid of 91, 98. If you continue that pattern, you will find a total of 25 prime numbers under 100. You see them written on the screen here. Notice I haven't done anything with the number 1. 1 is neither prime nor composite. Remember, prime numbers have exactly two factors. Composite numbers have three or more factors. The number 1 only has one factor, 1. So it's a unique number. It's neither prime nor composite. Now it's time for you to try. Pause the video and figure out whether these numbers are prime or composite and then start it back up to check your work. After listing out the factors, you should see that 31 and 17 are prime because they only have two factors. 14 and 49 are composite. They have three or more. 